Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna look at how to make the Reminders app on the iPhone useful. There's no doubt that Apple does a lot of things right, from the iPad, iPhones, AirPods, iMacs, and a plethora of other minimalistic tech gear. But the one thing that I absolutely hate is all of the native iOS apps that end up on the iPhone. I put every single one of these apps into a folder called Apple Crap and never touch them again. One thing I do love is using Siri, and I found that the more Siri can do inside of your native apps, the more streamlined life can be. I use Siri all the time to remind me things at very specific times on very specific days. So if I have to leave in the morning and I need to grab three things, I would tell Siri to remind me 10 minutes before I leave to grab those things. So if I leave at seven o'clock, I'm gonna say, hey Siri, remind me at 6.50 a.m. to grab my book and my gym towel. This made sure that as soon as that reminder went off, I would see, oh yeah, I need to get my gym towel in that book so I wouldn't forget it to go off my day. Because there's nothing worse than getting halfway from your commute and thinking, oh crap, I forgot something. The problem I found with the reminders app was that if you were just go in there and type something, it was such a process to get it to remind you on a day at a specific time. And we all know the more friction it takes to do something, the less likely we are to accomplish it. So instead of going in there and writing it down, we're just more likely to say to ourselves, oh, I'll remember it, don't worry about it. And then we end up forgetting it. After using pretty much every single to-do app on the app store, like to-do and to-doist and the other to-do that's spelled weird, I could never figure them out and they were all so complicated. Plus, most of them you have to pay a monthly subscription for and I just thought it was stupid to spend money on that. So the other day I was going through my reminders app and I thought I'm gonna figure out how to use this properly. And so what I did was I deleted all of my random reminders that I had stored in there for the past four to five years. I found reminders from like my freshman year of high school in there. All of those completely got rid of them all. I deleted all of my list, every single thing that was in the reminders app. Next, I deleted all the random apps that were in my widget section on the iPhone. That thing where you swipe left accidentally and it gets to a bunch of random apps that you have in there. I deleted all of those and put my reminders app in there. Now, when I swipe left, my reminders are right there. It reminds me automatically at a specific time and date that I set, and it takes two taps to put a reminder in. So today we're gonna look at how to do that. So the first thing to do is we're gonna open our reminders app. And if you have anything in there, delete it. Delete all your lists, delete all your reminders, delete every single thing you have in the reminders app. If you have stuff in there that you need to remember in the future, write them down first, don't be dumb. Next, we're gonna go ahead and create a new list. And you can name this list whatever you want it to. I'm just gonna name it Thoughts, and I'm gonna give it a grayish color, I'm gonna have that. So that is now my only list that I have in there. Next, we're gonna go to a settings and you're gonna type in reminders and you're gonna open up the settings for the reminders app. And you see this default list. The default list is now my thoughts because that's the only list in there. So swipe out of that. And next we're gonna set our today notification. So if you plan your days at night, set this notification to sometime at night, maybe eight or nine o'clock at night. If you're a morning person, set this time to six or 7 a.m. in the morning. Anything you type in that reminder section, it's going to remind you at that specific time today. And at that time, it's going to send you a reminder for every reminder that you have that's not checked off in the reminders section. This is very helpful because if you set a reminder to do something three days from now, it's gonna remind you every day at that specific time for the next three days or until you mark it as complete. Then go to your homepage, swipe left once, and underneath the widgets, scroll down until you can get the edit section. Once you're in the edit section, you're gonna go ahead and delete, hit that little minus sign and remove every single app that's in there that's not your reminders. If you like to use your calendar, you can add the calendar in there, but put it below reminders. Don't add news, don't add Instagram, don't add anything that's gonna get out of your attention because what happens when you swipe over there and you see a cool news headline is you're gonna scroll down, start reading that and you're going to forget to add in your to-do. So once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and hit done. And as you can see now, the only thing in our widget section is the reminder. So if I wanna create a new reminder, I'm gonna hit new reminder, and I'm gonna say, remind me to do X. Then I'm gonna hit done. I'm gonna swipe away, I'm gonna swipe to the left. Once I have it done, I just click that little button and it disappears, it goes away forever. If this is something that you need to do later, it's gonna remind you to do that later tonight or tomorrow morning, whenever you set that today notification for back in your settings. And if you wanna go back to your reminders app and set up a different list for work or personal stuff, you can. But remember, that's gonna add more friction. And the more friction we have, the less likely we are to do something. Whenever you finish a reminder, make sure to cross that off because you don't want the app getting 
cluttered and you're gonna get overwhelmed and look at it. So just keep it clean, keep it nice and keep it tidy. So this is no friction, extremely easy to remember and it's native to iOS. This is helpful because if you're working on your laptop and you need a reminder, you can add it straight from your laptop. You don't have to open up your phone, just make sure iCloud is synced. If you have Alfred, a keyboard shortcut productivity tool for Mac, which I have new video coming soon, you can set up a hotkey to trigger reminders to open up and so you can just type in a new reminder. What I do is I have option R set as a hotkey to open up my reminders app. So I hit option R, my reminders open up. I just have to type it in. I tab back to my next app that I was working on and I continue with my workflow. No friction, easy remembering, great productivity tool. If you don't have Alfred, you can just use command spacebar into the spotlight search and type in REM enter and it's gonna open up your reminders automatically. So that's how you use the reminders app on iPhone and MacBook Pro. If you like this video, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you have a question, leave a comment down below or hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.